Hi guys, remember Quasi Quartang, the guy who crashed the UK economy when he was Chancellor? It seems years, but it was less than two months ago. Quartang introduced his mini-budget, parts of which were uncosted. The markets reacted, and it sent the pound into a tailspin, with pensions literally hours away from complete collapse if the Bank of England hadn't intervened. Quasi Quartang was sacked on his way back from the USA, and Liz Truss went some time later. So whose fault was it? Well, Quasi Quartang had this to say when he crawled out from under his rock. So you made the argument that the Prime Minister go slower at the time? Well, I said, um, I said actually after the budget, that because we were going very fast, uh, even after the mini-budget, we were going at a breakneck speed. And I said, um, you know, we should slow down, slow down. And what did she say? And she said, well, I've only got two years. And I said, you'll have two months if you carry on like this. And that's, I'm afraid, what happened. Um, and that was something that I said to her uh, uh, in October, after the mini-budget. So I suppose you rather wish you listened to you at the time. Well, it's not, look, I, I, you know, I'm responsible. I'm not going to wash my hands with it. I'm, I was Chancellor of the Exchequer. I was also uh, part of the, uh, the top team. Um, but I, looking back, I think we could have had a more measured approach. What sort of rubbish is this? What sort of crap is he talking here? Slow down. The problem was we're going too fast. The problem were the policies. The problem with the mini budget was that parts of it were uncosted. And the markets reacted by saying, how are you going to pay for this? And there was no way of paying for anything. That was how the, that's how the markets reacted. And then the policies you were trying to push through, it was completely insane. Liz Truss eventually sacked him, saying that she still b agreed with him. And then she replaced him with Jeremy Hunt, who did the opposite. So obviously she didn't believe or she didn't think it was a good idea what Quasi Quarteng was doing. And now he's trying to shift the blame onto her or trying to say, well, yeah, I can't wash my hands off this. But we were going too fast. What do you mean too fast? The problem was not the speed. The problem was the policies. Completely insane. And these people should actually be in prison. They shouldn't still be holding on to seats in the House of Commons. They should have resigned. The amount of damage they have done is on a level with the pandemic. The amount of damage that the, the, cent the central bank, the Bank of England, had to intervene and spend billions, 65 billion pounds, to prop up pension funds that were risking collapse. Hundreds of billions of pounds are lost now because of the mini-budget. Damage to the UK reputation, that's going to take decades to recover from and these people are still pointing fingers and saying yeah it, it, we were going too fast no acceptance of of blame here no yeah actually we, we were wrong we did the wrong thing no we were just going too fast the mar and i remember quasi quartang attempting to blame the markets here saying well we were going too fast for the markets it wasn't about speed it was about policy let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.